Hello everyone and welcome back. You're looking at another electromagnetic dynamic speaker back from the late 30s, early 40s. Uh, the purpose of this video, again, is not to rebuild the speaker. Hopefully I won't have to do that for a while, even though the uh, 41280 was uh, challenging. I learned a lot. A lot of great feedback and some lessons learned that I will apply on the next uh, rebuild when that should occur. Anyway, the purpose of this video, real quick, um, I had some questions on one of my videos that I just produced about the polarity of the voice coil. So um, I ran across just a little trick. I'm not sure how accurate it is for those experts out there or SMEs. If you're watching, I would appreciate you chiming in and uh, provide your feedback on what I'm getting ready to uh, demonstrate. Okay, I've got the uh, leads hooked up, and again, I've got my iOS device set here, uh, or the True North disabled. Again, I've just got the leads hooked up at random. You'll see that I have a uh, C battery. Uh, we'll go negative to positive, and let's see what we get as far as uh, rotation here on the uh, compass. Okay, you can see I'm getting clockwise movement. So what that indicates, based on the polarity that we have right now, is that the uh, if you follow the right-hand rule, uh, the current would actually be flowing in this direction. So again, facing the voice coil, or looking down at the voice coil, just like in this example here, this would be your south pole, and this would be your north pole. So instead of me reversing the leads on the speaker itself, let me just change the uh, polarity here on the battery. So I'll make the uh, plus back here and the negative here to the positive terminal. And you can see I'm getting my uh, counterclockwise movement. And we'll confirm that again. You can see there's the current flows. Again, I'm getting that uh, counterclockwise movement. So again, that indicates the current is flowing in this direction using the right-hand rule. And you can see here, again, counterclockwise, meaning north here, south here. So again, looking back down at the uh, voice coil, in this case, your north polarity would be here, your south here on the bottom side. So facing the back side of my uh, iOS device here again would be the North Pole. So if you flip this over and look at it, my positive connection would actually be this lead here. and my negative lead here. Again, I got repeatable results using a known voice coil with a known polarity, and it worked in every case. But um, for those out there that are uh, subject matter experts, please chime in. Let me know your thoughts about using your iOS device in this uh, manner. Thanks again for watching.